wanted a like a shoe storage for my sneakers so these are all of my sneakers i guess this is gonna be like a little shoe unboxing all right here is the two-piece set that i'm going to wear today grocery haul real quick good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog so right now i'm just getting ready for the day it's about what time is it almost 10 o'clock and it's a saturday um saturday what is today's date the 8th july 8th so another weekend vlog so i've been enjoying filming these weekend vlogs i don't know how y'all feel about it but um i really enjoy filming the weekend i typically don't film in, on the weekend even like if i'm doing vlogs and stuff i like i just like to film during the week or i did anyway so that i'm not don't feel like i'm working the weekend if that makes sense but i enjoy doing this so it doesn't feel like work to me so um but anyway so yeah so it's the weekend another saturday and it's a beautiful saturday like the sun is just shining bright and it's just such a nice day so um i think it's supposed to like rain later on in the day like around five or so so i'm gonna make the best of this beautiful sunshiny weather i've got a few things that i gotta do today um one of the things on my to-do list is i've gotta go get some um go pick up my groceries because i ordered some groceries last night just like our essentials that we typically that i typically get every week um because my kids go through groceries like crazy <laughs> um well my daughter's been gone this week so um those of you that um are new here uh, my daughter she went to spend the night with her or spend the night she went on a trip uh with her grandparents so she's been gone for the whole week so she hasn't been eating up the food because she hasn't been here but my son has he's uh, a growing boy he's 16 so and um, he's involved in basketball this week so he's definitely been eating up the food so anyway so I've got to go and just get our essentials just like the normal stuff we typically get every week so I'm gonna go pick that up do a little grocery run um, I ordered them last night on walmart.com so which I used to do that a lot so I don't know why I stopped doing it I've just been going to the store which is can be kind of inconvenient um you know it's just more convenient to just order them online so uh and I used to do that all the time so I don't know why I stopped but anywho so I'm gonna go pick up my groceries and then um I'm gonna share with you guys hopefully I can get done and get ready in time I can show you guys like my new storage as you can see we're in, we are in my like office. i don't even know if i want to call it a office. my dressing room we'll just call it that <laughs> my dressing room slash closet because i don't use this as an office i typically i just use this as a dressing room like all my clothes are in here and i do my makeup in here so we'll just call it a dressing room and not a closet because i don't do any kind of like office work in here <laughs> so uh, but anywho so i just wanted to share with you guys um, my new shoe storage because i've been talking about that since last year and i just yeah i'm just now getting getting it done like it's probably been a year since i've said i was going to do that and um, i have not done it yet until now just now so me and my husband like randomly last Saturday, sunday after church um we went to ikea and got some um like little y'all probably already know because the little what do you call them the billy bookcases the infamous billy bookcases that every youtuber probably has <laughs> and so i i really didn't want to do that because of the fact that everybody does has though you know everybody does have those and so i didn't want to be like everybody else but they are so convenient and they are they just hold so much so anywho so we were in there looking for something else you know i wasn't really gonna do the billy bookcases but they just work so i end up getting two two sets of those so i'm going to share with you guys or show you guys my my shoe um my little shoe tower or shoe storage i should say so i'm going to show that to you guys and um i also got some new end pieces from um, um amazon i got some stuff from free people um where else did i get some stuff from all of it's over here um i got some stuff from asos some dresses from asos but i'm gonna do like a dresses like lookbook and so and like i'm yeah i'm just gonna save those pieces for that video um rather than show you guys today plus there is a particular dress um from that order because i've already tried on all this stuff and so there's a particular dress that i purchased 
and I need to get it um, just do a little bit of altering on it so I'm gonna take it that's one of the things I'm gonna do today is take it to the um, uh, my um, seamstress and see if she can get that fixed because it just it just doesn't fit right which typically doesn't happen typically um, and I'm fortunate enough where I can when I, that I'm so as far as like my my body build I guess most stuff fits me fine and I don't ever hardly ever have to get anything altered which you know I know that's not everybody's thing you know everybody a lot of people don't have that aren't, aren't fortunate enough to have that but I do but this particular this particular dress because of how it's made I have to get it all you know altered a little bit um, just a little bit so I'm gonna take it to my seamstress and see if she can get that altered real quick because I want that video I want to do that video sometime um, next week if I can so um, I need to get that dress kind of altered a little bit so we'll see if she, how you know how quick of a turnaround she can do for me so I can hurry up and do that video so that I can show you guys those dresses before they um, sell out I don't know I may just go ahead and show you guys those dresses because I think one of them is already sold out because ASOS right now well everybody right now is having they're still having like their summer sales so um, so one of those dresses that I purchased I think is already sold out so so that's just the thing I don't know if it's just me or does it seem like stuff sells out has been selling out quicker uh, here lately um, I don't know what that is I think not I guess it's because more and more people are on TikTok and on social media promoting stuff and so it's just hard to get to because now things are just so easily accessible and people are you know more so blog you know blogging and vlogging about it now that it's just hard to really get hold anything because everybody has been you know being put on to certain things so like you got to get it when you can you know um which I'm a firm believer you know just buy it just if you like it just go ahead and buy it if you get it and you don't like it you can always return it but you won't have that regret of not getting something because you missed out so uh, I'm trying to find my lashes because I am going to wear lashes today so I got some new lashes and some new glue I, well not they're not really new lashes but they're the um, Ardell these are the 3d faux mink 858 lashes that I love so I just opened up, gonna open up a new pack. So I'm gonna put my lashes on. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have planned for the day. Um, I am gonna be, it's gonna be a solo day for me. My husband and my son, he had a basketball game today, which they probably are about finished. I don't know how many games they have today, but they had a, he has a game or had a game this morning around nine. So my husband's gone with my son to his game. So, um, it's just, and then of course my daughter's gone. She won't be back until tomorrow. So it's just me. Um, you guys are going to just be spending the day with me. My daughter hung out with me last week. So, uh, but this week or this weekend, it's just going to be me and you guys. So, um, and I need to, I guess I need to go actually, I need to go get some, I don't know where I'm going to put these lashes because I threw away my little lash thing. So I don't know where. In the world I'm gonna put these lashes after I take them off um but yeah so you guys are gonna spend the day with me I need to go get some um just trying to open up this glue I need to go get me some more lotion so I may end up going to Ulta because I gotta get some more of the bum bum cream that I love from the Sol de Janeiro um, brand or line I'm running out of that lotion, then I gotta get lotion. I've used two different lotions on my skin, y'all. It's yeah, it's I'm so high maintenance. But my my skin on my legs, I, I'm more so uh prone to get uh, a breakout of eczema. So I have to use um like an eczema type lotion for my legs. It's weird. Like I don't get eczema on any other part of my body other than my legs. So I can't use all kinds of lotions on my legs. So I gotta go get two different types of lotions to use. Um so I'm gonna go get, yeah, I probably go end up going to Ulta since I'm already gonna be out and pick up my lotions. And then I gotta cut these lashes because they are too long. And then, um, yeah, cause I got a lot of things that I gotta do. So I need to hurry up and get out of here because it sounds like a very busy day for me. Um, so 
I just hope that the seamstress that she can um hope that she can get my lashes my lashes y'all I can't I can't multitask do two things at once I hope she can get that dress um altered for me by next week so if not then I don't know I may have to put that video um film that video a different day or film that video uh the week after next I don't know so we'll see um because I definitely want to try because I got a, a request to do like a boho outfits video and for me um when i think of boho outfits i think of like dresses like styling up dresses and a lot of these dresses are boho kind of like boho style so yeah i need i need the i need my dress to be altered so i can you know include that dress because the dress that i need altered is definitely a boho style type of dress so uh so we'll see if the seamstress can get that done for me and um yeah then we'll go from there so all right like i said i can't multitask and you know talk to y'all and do my makeup at, at the same time because yeah i'll never get out of here so um, i'm gonna do my makeup and then i'll be back all right and just like that my little makeup is done so i just did something just simple my everyday <laughs> normal stuff so um all right so i'm gonna share with you guys now um my little shoe storage that i have um and i'm proud of it i'm happy with it and just glad that i finally have a place to put my shoes so um especially my sneakers because i had my sneakers oh you guys let me get you guys out of the dark um because i needed a place or storage for my sneakers because i had a huge sneaker collection and i was keeping everything in um the box so um now i have a place to put my sneakers so let me show you guys my shoe my little shoe um storage so so here it is um, I have two of them, these little Billy bookcases. So as you can see, I have a place for most of my shoes. But what I said, what I was saying is I really wanted a, like a shoe storage for my sneakers. So these are all of my sneakers. Well, most of them, I have them, the, some more in the bottom, but yeah, so these are all my sneakers just tucked away nice and, um, organized and they're not in the boxes and now I can actually see them because uh that was the issue is you know I have so many sneakers and I had them in boxes and some of these I didn't even wear because they were tucked away in boxes and I had the boxes kind of like stacked like I had boxes of just shoes over here in this area so now it's much neater and much more organized and I can see my shoes and wear my sneakers so um, but those are my sneakers and then I also have a, some shoe storage here. This is old. I have like some heels over here. This actually was behind my rack over here tucked away because I didn't have any room for it. So now I can see these shoes and wear some of these too. So I didn't, I couldn't fit three of these uh, little things over here or these little built cases over here. I couldn't fit, I couldn't fit three over here. So, cause I have obviously two doors here, which whoever designed this house I don't even know why they did that because I don't yeah it just opens up to the living room so it's just weird but anyway um, I guess I could put a third one here but I'll have to take off this little piece here on this door in order for it to fit but it'll just be a tight squeeze and so this this fits perfectly but anyway so this is one of the bookcases we kind of messed up here my husband kind of messed up here and put it on the wrong side but that's okay I don't care I told him I don't care like he was willing to take it all down like we'd already nailed the back of it and everything and he realized he did this put it on um, the other the wrong side but I was like you know what whatever we can paint over that I just I don't care I just want this shoe storage so um, but anyway so that is one of the bookcases and then I just put my Prada loafers here because they were sitting um they basically were like this on the other side of my little closet but just kind of like as decoration I don't know they <laughs> have them there on sitting on their box and then here is the other bookcase and i have more so like more of my heels on here and of course i have some more of my sneakers here and i just have like some random sneakers all white random sneakers here i don't even know why i put those there those was just there for the time being um because i didn't have any really place place to put them over here i mean i guess i could have but that would have made we'll see how all these shoes kind of the sneakers here fit just fine 
or go on there just fine if i would have put those on here i would have had to put them up here just they just but it just would have been a random sneaker up here with all these heels so i just put it there um but anyway so this is the shoe little shoe storage and i don't know why i put that there that rug don't mind that girl i just put that there um but yeah so that is the shoe storage and just very happy with it and yeah and everything has a little place so and some of these heels i don't even wear heels like that so i don't even know why i have these heels but yeah they're there i probably wear these more so than anything because they're kitten heels but all these other heels girl well these aren't as high i got those from mango um uh, but all these other heels girl yeah they're too high <laughs> so i don't know when the last time i wore like some heels heels besides my two favorite those are from mango i've showed those before those are my two favorite kitten heels so but yeah so that is the shoe storage and this is just like an overview of the rest of the closet kind of organized it too a little bit and then that's my little makeup area i cleaned it off that's my haul that i'm gonna do and that's just some trash i always keep a trash bag and you know throw away stuff so um but yeah so this is kind of like an overview i kind of organized it a little bit more um when we put up the bookcases so but yeah so that is my little shoe storage and i think i'm gonna start like filming more in here now because everything is just i cleaned up in here and organized that's why i haven't filmed in here in so long if you guys have been here and been following me for a while then you guys know that i this is where i used to film all my videos but i stopped because it was just a disaster in here like stuff was just piling up and just it just looked cluttered i mean it still kind of looks cluttered but you know it's it's a dressing room so it's for all of my clothes or most of my clothes since i have another closet that has some of my older stuff this is like newer stuff that um, i've had in probably the last year or two but yeah i think we're gonna get one of the billy bookcases one of these bookcases put over here because i want to put my handbags um in a bookcase too because i have handbags in this little closet um i have some in here in my little ottoman and then i also have some up here so i want to kind of declutter that because that looks cluttered too and i want to put some handbags here um on a bookcase here one of those billy bookcases here so i think we're i think we are going to do that me and my husband are going to do that go back to ikea and um get one more so that i can have storage for my handbags because yeah i i mean that's fine you know but i think it'll look better if i put them on bookcases so um, so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go back at some point and get some more of those and um what i love about these bookcases or what i did i added actually added some or bought some more um shelves because you can buy the shelves individually and add more shelves and i was thinking about adding more shelves to these but i added two extra i added two extra shelves to each bookcase and i thought about going and get going back and getting more but i think that's fine like i think if i put too too many on there it's gonna look too it's gonna be too tight yeah so that's fine so but all my shoes have a place so it's all good so um but yeah so i am gonna go ahead and get dressed for the day it's 10 about like 10 15 after 10 so i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear today and i don't know what i'm gonna wear today y'all like yeah so let me figure out what i'm gonna wear and then i'll show you with you guys my outfit of the day um and then i don't know if i want to share with you guys my new end pieces mm, oh yeah i got some stuff from j crew too so i'll just wait until i get back and show you you know do the haul when i get back um because i want to probably need to try this stuff on but i don't know one of the pieces that i got from j crew i think i want to wear it today yeah let me get let me just show you guys um a haul real quick some of this stuff i want to go ahead and wear so yeah hold on all right so i'm just gonna sh go ahead and share with you guys um some of these things that i got um because i'm not gonna show the dresses though yeah we'll save the dresses for what i do that dress book book or the dress outfit ideas or the dresses outfits we'll save that for then um i don't know i don't know I may show you guys those dresses when I come back depending on if my seamstress can get that dress altered by um, you know within a reasonable time then I may show you know I may show you guys those um, dresses when I come back 
um well if she can do it no if she can't do it if she can't get it done within a reasonable time then i'll show you guys those dresses but if she can then i won't show you guys the dresses when i come back um so anyway so the first thing i got i got some things from free people i got actually two pairs of sunglasses and i want to wear one of these today so yeah i think that's why i'm going to go ahead and share with you guys these things some of these things i want to go ahead and wear um so the first thing i got are these sunglasses and i just absolutely love these they just look so retro and just yeah i like them because the lenses are kind of like in this brown tint and i've been trying to find like some brown tinted lens uh sunglasses i have some that i got from shein but yeah they're not they're too brown like they're like almost borderline black so I saw these and wanted to try them out and these are perfect. So I love them. They just look so retro and yeah, they were like 20, I think they were $25 on free people. So I love them and they just, like I said, look so retro. I love like this little bar detail. I don't have anything like this. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and get these cause I love them. So, um, but yeah, so that is the first thing I got. And of course, if y'all been following me, you know, when I like something, I tend to get it in multiple colors and that's what I did with these sunglasses i saw they had them in this green tint so they're actually green frames and green tinted lenses so absolutely love these like love them so much they had these sunglasses in several different colors as well i think they had like of course the black i think pink like a pink tint um but anyway they had them in other colors too but i just picked the brown in the green i just love these green ones they are so cute green has been like my new favorite color so when i saw they have these in green i was like you know what let me go ahead and scoop these up because yeah i love these i, may, I don't know i may wear these today because i like them but um so yeah so those are the first two things i got and they're sunglasses from free people so i will share with you guys the links down below in the description box if you want to check them out so just check down in the description box so but that's what i got from free people and then let me show you this purchase this is like i guess this is gonna be like a little shoe unboxing um i've fallen in love with whoop, yeah. i have fallen in love with tori birch and so i uh you know you, you guys have been following me i have like the tori birch tote bag that i um showed you guys in i've showed that that tote in several videos at this point so you probably guys are tired of seeing that but anyway so i fall in love with tori birch i've just been in love i've liked her brand for a while but just never bought anything so i bought some shoes to go with my new handbag and so i'm just gonna go ahead and unbox these for you guys um so yeah this is like a little luxury unboxing i guess if you will so comes with like a little card and then it has like the little dust bags for each shoe and then i've been loving these shoes i've seen them before and um this i got these because i wanted to get i've been wanting to get the chanel ones but i was like you know what i don't have that chanel price tag so i saw these on Saks. I so that's where i got these from i got these from Saks fifth avenue or got them online so I saw these on the site and I was like, these could be an alternative to the Chanel one. So, um, and I've already opened these up, so kind of takes the fun out, but here they are. And I love these, like these are so cute and just so chic. It will go perfectly with my new, um, tote bag. Uh, let me actually show you guys the other one. So yeah, so he, here are the Tory Burch little, um, ballet flats. And we know ballet flats are huge right now. And so I saw these and um, I just had to get them. Um, I don't have, I have some ballet flats, but they're pointed toe. So I wanted some that were kind of more like a round toe, which I'm not that big of a fan of a round toe shoe, but I love these. I love like the little logo here, the little gold lo logo here. So yeah, I just love these. And I love like the two tone or like this cap toe kind of detail. And I love the fact that they're cream and black because I can just wear these with so many you know so many outfits and so many things so yeah i love these these are my new my little little luxury purchase so um and i got these in a nine and a half i believe yeah in a nine and a half and i am a nine and a half and they do fit true to size so um i love these i don't know i may wear these today i love these shoes like i thought they were just so cute and they have these in several colors as well i'm i'm thinking I may get them in the all black because you just can't go wrong with all black. But they did have them in several colors too. So, but 
yeah and this is the box the box that it came in the packaging just so pretty and i think i may save this box because i typically save my box uh, but these are the claire capto ballet and the napa leather and they're called new cream slash black slash gold and like i said i got them in a us nine and a half so uh, but i love these shoes um, like I said, I've been seeing them um, before, or I've seen them before, and I, you know, thought about, never thought about getting them, but because I got my new tote bag, I thought those would look cute with the tote bag. So, so yeah, so that's my little luxury unboxing um, for from uh, Tory Burch. Um, now let's do Amazon. I um, went on Amazon, as we all do, and I saw that they sell this brand called um, Urban Revivo. Or Revivo, however you say it, and I've purchased from that brand, from the actual brand before. I got some cardigans from there. I've gotten some dresses, or not dress. Yeah, I think I got a dress from there, and some handbags. And so I just love that brand. It's very like Chanel inspired. So I saw they sold, they sell Urban Revivo on Amazon. Let me take a little drink break. But yeah, they sold. I saw they sold Urban Revivo on Amazon, and I've been wanting like I have like a black cardigan similar to the one I'm going to share with you guys I have a black one and a green one and I wanted the white and so I saw they had it on they've been on out of stock on the Urban Revival actual website and so I saw they had them on Amazon so of course I had to go in there and get it so um yeah so I just went and got two cardigans because I wear cardigans you know year round and so I think they're good investments just to have and so the first one I got is this one and it's like in this cream color and um, it has like this gold detail I the, hope the camera's not washing it out but it has like this gold detail on it and it has like these beautiful gold buttons gold and pearl buttons going down the middle as well as on the um little pocket here and it also has like some gold trimming going around it so i just love this and i got it in the extra large and um urban revival runs small just fyi um, cause I'm typically like a medium large up top and even in an extra large, it's still kind of snug. Um, not too bad, but, um, I want it to kind of be a little big and oversized, but it is not. It fits me just fine. And, and this is an extra large. So, um, and it's kind of thick. So you definitely, um, if you wear this now in the summertime, which I will, then I'll just wear it like inside, like take it with me when I go to restaurants. Cause you know, it gets, it's really cold in restaurants. So I can just wear it inside and you know keep me warm while i'm inside when the ac is blasting so but this is really pretty just very much so chanel-esque vibes and like i said i have this in green and in black so of course you got to get it in the cream because cream is just classy just a classic classy color so um i love this so um but yeah so i got it off amazon so um if you if you shop from that brand urban revivo and you see something that's out of stock on their actual website then try Amazon they may have it on Amazon so and then I got another cardigan this one is a short sleeve one it's not as thick as the cream one and this is kind of like in a beigey color but I absolutely love this I think I like this one better than I do the cream one um, as you can see it's short sleeve and it's like this in this like beigey color and it's similar to the cream it has like the little pearl buttons going down the middle as well as on the pocket and it also has like pearl detail on the bottom of this pocket I don't know if the white one had that either um, yeah, the white one. No, the white one only had the two pockets up top or the cream one, I should say. So this one, I love it. This is kind of like in a, I don't know, like, what do you call this fabric? Um, boucle, not boucle. The other one's like a blue boucle. This is like a tweed sort of, um, kind of tweed, but not really, but it's thinner. So I can wear this now in the summertime. Um, it'd be fine because it's thin and it's kind of like an open, more of like an open knit type of a material of fabric so and this one um i got an extra large as well this one definitely fits small this one definitely fits small so it fits me just fine or just right so i was hoping that it would be a little bit oversized or at least a little bit more loose fitting because i don't like to wear tight stuff um up top at all unless it's a bodysuit um but it's still cute though um and uh yeah, I got this at extra large. I was trying to see if they have like the price, but no, it's from Amazon, so it's not gonna have the price on it. But um, I will link th link these two cardigans down in the description box. Uh, but they just look really classy, and I've just kind of been loving that whole like I don't know. I, I actually have always loved that 
like classy kind of sophisticated vibe i mean i am 42 years old so <laughs> i am a woman of a certain age so you know i obviously am drawn to that kind of style so um but yeah so those that's the stuff that i got from amazon and the last thing i'm going to share with you guys are some things that i got from j crew and these pieces i'm probably um no i'm, I'm thinking yeah these some of this some of the pieces that I, pieces that i got from j crew i'm thinking i'm gonna wear today um so the first thing i got is this and it's like a little tank top and i've been seeing a lot of this like style lately with like a black top with like this you know like white piping and i just thought it looked really retro and i think that's what the name of this top is called um it doesn't have it on here but yeah this is like a retro kind of style and so i absolutely love that i got it in a size large and it fits me just fine and it's like super stretchy and lightweight and so I, yeah i just been loving these tops that i've been seeing with like the white piping um with the black with the white piping i've been loving these so um so yeah so i got it from j crew and i think they were having a sale i believe um and i think these are pretty reasonable so um yeah so i got it in the black and white and then i also got it in the blue and white because you know when i like something i get it in multiple colors and so yeah i love this blue and white this is definitely looks retro to me like i can wear this with like blue jeans i can wear it with like a denim skirt like those denim maxi skirts that are trendy right now um and then like i could layer even layer like one of my cardigans over here if i go inside because it is a tank top so obviously when i go inside i'm gonna freeze so um i can wear you know layer a cardigan or something up um over this so and i got this one in a large as well and then i think the last thing i got yeah this is the last thing i got which i think is what i'm gonna wear today it's a two-piece set and it's kind of like in this terry cloth i think is what it's called so i got um the top and i got the shorts to match so here are the shorts and they look huge because they are huge on me i got this in an extra large i think yeah i got these in an extra large so they are big on me <laughs> i should have gotten them in a large i don't know why i sized up but i can't adjust the uh, waist because they do have like a little drawstring and they're elasticated so i can't adjust them so uh, but it's just in this cherry cloth and it's in this blue it's like in a blue and cream stripes so um i just thought this would be cute to wear just lounging around the house or just like days like this weekends where you just want to be casual and don't want to you know you know i'm saying like dress up too much so i just thought it would be cute to wear just lounging around so yeah so i got the shorts and then i also got the top which um the top kind of comes a little bit low on me it's like a v-neck and it's like a polo i think it's what it's called on the site like a polo top so and it's long sleeve so um i'm definitely and it's like a wide long sleeve it's a little short on my arms but i probably plan on rolling it up because it is hot outside so and it's like in this cherry cloth and it's not like thick super thick it's really thin so um i'm sh i mean i don't think i'll burn up in it we'll see because i'm gonna wear it today <laughs> um so hopefully i won't burn up but i am going to like lift the sleeves up so that you know i don't burn up so um but yeah so i'm gonna wear this today actually so i'm gonna share with you guys what it looks like on so um yes yeah, so let me put that to the side so and i don't know what kind of shoes i'm gonna wear with that so i'll probably wear some sandals um i don't know i gotta look at my shoe in my shoes i may wear my new balance sneakers with that because i haven't worn my new balances in so long so we'll see um but yeah so those are all the things that i just got recently um so like i said the asos dresses i got so i got four dresses from asos actually and i got two pair of shoes got some sandals so let me just let me show you the sandals at least and then um like i said i may show you guys the um dresses when i come back but i just got two pair of sandals i got them the same they're the same just in two different colors um but i got like these birkenstock-esque um little two strap sandals and these are from the south beach brand and i got these in a size 10 and um they are a little big on me but they're not too they're not too bad i'm a nine and a half so you know i take a hit <laughs> You know, I, I kind of, it's like hit or miss when, with me when it comes to sizes because I'm in between sizes. So with this, I feel like these shoes, I feel like I could have gotten a nine. So I don't know. I'm thinking I may send them back and order the nine, but I'm afraid the nine will be, will fit me just right. And I don't want them to fit just right. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to keep the 10. So, but anyway, I got them in this like 
what is this like a chocolate brown color like a dark camo color if you will and i like like the gold button or like the gold hardware on them so yeah i love these birkenstock dupes i should just invest in the real deal because at this point this is like the fourth yeah because i'm looking at them now i have the black i have some black ones that i got from h&m and some gold ones that i got from h&m and then i have some white ones that i got from walmart so now i have some brown ones so i'll just have them in all the colors so but anyway so got those and they were super affordable i think and i think on the site now they're still on sale for like ten dollars i don't know girl but they were cheap um and then i got the same ones just like in this like khaki color i don't know like a cream or beige color yeah we'll, we'll just go with beige yeah like a beige color so i thought these were cute so um yeah and again i got these in a 10 so yeah so i just wanted to share with you guys the shoes because the dresses like i said i'm going to share those in a and i love these dresses like all i like i said i tried all these on and um they all fit me just fine except for one of the dresses that i need to get altered so all right so i am going to get dressed and then share with you guys my outfit of the day and then because we're it's like 10 30 so I need to pick up my groceries between 12 and 1, so I'm trying to decide if I need to go to the seamstress first because the groceries, the grocery pickup, I chose a Walmart that's like on one side of me as far as where I live, and then the same, my seamstress is on the other end, so I'm like in the middle of where I need to go, of two places that I need to go to, so, but I am going to go to Ulta after I go from, to see my seamstress, so I might just go wait and just go to Walmart first and pick up my groceries first then come home drop my groceries off and then go out back out so you know it's Saturday so you know I'm not doing anything else so but yeah so that's my haul for the day um everything I showed you guys I will link in the description box so just be sure to check down there um I think most of the stuff should still be, you know still be available I don't know uh, but I will link everything down below so all right, so I'm going to get dressed and then get ready for the day. And then I'll be back and share with you guys my outfit. All right, and here is the two-piece set that I'm going to wear today. Um, and as you can see, it is just a little bit short as far as the sleeve. Like, it's not anything too bad. But like I said, I'm probably going to roll up these sleeves because it is kind of a thicker material. Probably too thick to wear uh, for the summertime, but um, I think it'll be fine. I think I won't burn up. If I end up burning up, then I'll take it off. But I'm literally just going to pick up my groceries and coming back home. So I should be fine. Um, but yeah, it's just a cute little loungy type of a thing to wear. Just lounge around the house, which is probably what I'll, you know, what I'll be doing today after I get finished running my errands. So yeah, so I'm going to wear this today, this little two-piece set from J. Crew, And I didn't tie it up just because I just wanted it to kind of be just kind of, you know, carefree, easy breezy, you know. Um, it's the weekend, so yeah, we're just keeping it casual. And then I'm going with these, um, my Free People sunglasses and like the brown tinted lenses because um, I love these. So just thought, decided to go with the brown because the green just, yeah, I wasn't really feeling the green with this. And then I went with... The little beige um two strap sandals that i got from aso so everything is new um and then as far as my handbag i'm gonna wear my tory birch <laughs> it might be too it might be too much stripes i don't know you guys let me know what you think but it may be too much stripes going on here but anyway i like it and there is navy blue in the bag just in case you're wondering like why are you wearing navy blue with with black um, but I like navy blue with black. Actually, I think that's a cute color combination. Um, but there is some navy blue in this bag as well. So, um, so this is the look of the day. Um, just a casual, just fit, just to run errands, to lounge around the house, like multi-purpose outfit. So, and I love this from J. Crew. I don't know if they had it in other colors. Um, if they do, I will pop the colors on the screen. But I think this is, I think this might have been the only color, and it didn't come as a set, like. It's obviously a set, but it came separately, so the price was different for each one. So, um, but yeah, just a cute, casual look, and yeah, so, um, I am trying to, what time is it? It is, trying to get my little watch here to tell me what time it is, um, because I have on my, um, so it is, I have on my, 
um what am i trying to say crystal i have on, on my apple watch so i'm trying to get the time to pop up i don't know does anybody else have issues with getting their time to pop up so it is almost i don't need my passcode it is almost 11 o'clock it's like 10 to 11 so um i don't have to pick up my groceries until 12 so trying to decide what to do because i'm just trying to kill time because i know i'm not going to go to the seam seamstress just yet um i might as well try on the rest of the stuff that i showed you guys i might as well sh try on those cardigans what y'all think yeah let's just try on the cardigans so i can share with you show you guys how those fit so yeah i'll be right back all right so this is how the um top from j crew fits um i tried on the blue i'm not going to try on the black one um just because it's the same top just in a different color but this is how it fits and like i said i got it in a large and just kind of how it looks in the back so yeah i absolutely love this like i said it kind of gives me like retro vibes i don't know why i think of like basketball team in their uniform when i think when i see this top because i feel like they wore stuff like this back in like the 70s when they played basketball i don't know um, i'm an 80s baby so i don't know <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so this is how it fits on me, and it's super stretchy, very comfortable, just very lightweight, um, and it kind of comes down low. It, I have like a strapless bra on, so it just kind of comes down low, but still covers up the bra. So if I kind of go down like that, as you can see, my little strapless bra shows, but or really my little bandeau top. It's more of a bandeau top, so, um, but yeah, this is how it fits. Like I said, I got in a large definitely glad I got it in a large because it's not too tight or anything like it's not uncomfortable um I can again wear this with like um one of my denim skirts and I think it'll be cute it maybe it looks fine with these um sh uh, shorts too so if I get too hot with that um top that matches these shorts I can wear this and still be fine so but yeah so this is how the top fits and then I'm gonna try on the cardigans um just i'm gonna keep these shorts on just to make this easier so i'll try the cardigans on and show you guys how those fit all right so this is how the first cardigan is the short sleeve one and i just love it like i said i got an extra large and girl it just fits so these things definitely um run small in my opinion but and it's kind of cropped a little bit i have a short torso so probably be if you have a longer torso then it's probably going to be even more cropped on you um but i like it it's cute and I'd probably wear it just like this, just kind of, you know, keep it buttoned up. I don't know if I would unbutton it. I don't know. Maybe I would. But I love it. I, like, I think it would be cute with, like, some linen trousers or um, any kind of trousers, really, that you can wear throughout the year. But as far as right now, I would probably wear this with, like, some of my linen trousers. I have some white ones. And so I'd probably pair my white ones with this. I have some beige ones, too. But I don't think, I think the color will be off if I wore it with this. Um, but I definitely wear this with like my white linen trousers and just be a classy, sophisticated look. Don't mind it with the shorts. It looks crazy with the shorts, but I didn't feel like taking the shorts off, girl. But I will style this up, obviously, because I do lots of styling videos on here. Outfit inspiration. So you will see it again styled up some kind of way. So just disregard the shorts. But yeah, this is how it fits. Just cute and classy, sophisticated piece. Um, cute to wear, you know, as like a little workwear piece if you guys work like in an office environment. So a nice piece to add to your wardrobe and i think they have these in several sizes so but i think extra large was the biggest size i'm not sure but like i said everything will be linked down below if you want to check it out so but this is the first cardigan and i absolutely love it all right and here is the next cardigan and i hope it's not blowing it out because it is white and cream but uh yeah there it goes um so yeah so this is the cardigan the long sleeve one that's a little bit thicker um and i love it this one's more looser um, than the other one that I showed you guys previously so I don't know why I was thinking this one was tighter than the other one but yeah this one is definitely a lot looser so um, I love that so it's not as tight on me so um, I love that because I can wear like a little um, lace tank top or lace cami underneath it too so um, but I love it I love like the pearl button details just like I said gives me Chanel vibes and just give me classy lady vibes this will be a cute outfit to wear or a cute uh, cardigan to wear to work. If you work in like a corporate environment or something, for me, um, I would wear it to church because it's definitely giving me first lady vibes. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a first lady of a church, so um, it definitely gives me first lady vibes when I wear this. So, but I love it. Just really pretty and just classy, like I said. And I love like this cream color, perfect for you know the summertime. And I would wear it as like a layering piece. 
um like over like a dress or something like a like a spaghetti strap dress or something so but i love it and again i got it in an extra large and it fits me perfectly all right guys so um i decided i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and um because it's 11 o'clock and like i said i have between 12 and 1 o'clock to pick up my groceries so um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go get me something to eat because i am a little hungry i didn't eat a lot yesterday so now i'm definitely feeling like i need to eat something so i'm gonna go to like one of my favorite restaurants um and get me like a little chicken salad and there is an ulta next door or close to where i'm gonna go get something to eat so by the time i get me something to eat and then go hit up ulta real quick then my grocery groceries should be ready so yes yeah, so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because if i if i don't then i'll never get out of here and um yeah i just need to uh be productive i guess <laughs> if you will while i'm waiting to um get my groceries so i am going to yeah i'm in my back in my office or my i don't know why i keep calling it a cloth because it's not an office um what did i come in here for um i have all my jewelry on so i didn't come in here for jewelry i don't know why i came in here i guess i came in here to close the door to my um uh dressing room so yeah i'm gonna get out of here real quick and see so, yeah, you guys are gonna come along with me i don't think i'm gonna bring my camera because yeah let me put my camera down because the battery is probably gonna go dead so i'm just gonna vlog the rest of this on my iphone so all right so you guys are gonna come along with me and yeah we're gonna make it a great day So I am finally at the at Walmart to pick up my groceries. Um, I went and got something to eat, and I was gonna go to Ulta, but I just realized that Ulta they don't sell the Rio de Janeiro products. I don't know why I thought they did, but they do not. I didn't go in there. I mean, I went over there, and then it occurred to me that I don't I don't think they sell the Rio de Janeiro products. So I think what I'm gonna do is just order it on Amazon and probably order my lotion my um eczema lotion too from amazon too so yeah i'll probably just do that because i don't want to go to the store just for one item so but yeah i'm waiting on them to bring out my groceries and as a matter of fact i gotta make sure my make sure my trunk isn't a disaster because girl let me go check on that should be able to get everything in there because I didn't order a lot of stuff like I said I just basically just got our essentials and stuff that we typically use up the most I had to re-up on that stuff so yeah so I don't have a lot of stuff so um maybe that's them coming out now we'll see maybe that's them coming out now hopefully Crystal? Alright. Uh, can I see an ID? Yeah. Alright. And you want that all in the trunk? Yes, that's fine. I just literally just pulled up and so they were right there ready to 
bring me my stuff. So I'll share with you guys what I got. Uh, do a little grocery haul once I get home. So, all right. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So I am back home and I'm gonna share with you guys a little small little grocery haul real quick. Um, like I said, these are just the essentials that we pretty much eat every day that I have to pr pretty much re-up on every week because these things get eat up the most. Um, it's, most of the stuff is really for my kids because they you know, like to snack, just some stuff for them to snack on. like. This is not a healthy grocery haul. So if that's what you come here for. Yeah, this is not a healthy grocery haul. So, but we have been doing like some, some little, like little baby steps we've been taking to try to eat a little bit more healthier. The key when it comes to like eating healthier is you gotta do that in baby steps. Like you just can't cold turkey, just stop eating junk stuff. And you know, I have kids, so they like junk food. So, um, but we have taken, like I said, baby steps. Um, to trying to eat healthy so but anywho so I'm gonna show you guys a quick little grocery haul real quick um, so we'll just start on this side so I guess this is probably the only healthy thing that I have in this whole entire haul but um, this is just one of those um, I think it's the market side is what the brand is Santa Fe and this is the Santa Fe style um, salad with chicken I love these it just kind of reminds me of like a little taco salad so I just got one because I have to go to work tomorrow so this will be my little lunch for tomorrow so I just got one of those I typically I've been trying to I'm trying to eat healthier when I go to work because we have McDonald's that are at my job and I always if I don't want the food in the cafeteria I end up going to McDonald's so this is a healthier you know lunch for me so I'm gonna try to start doing that and taking these to lunch with me um, but yeah, so I got me a salad and then my kids love these little Johnsonville Brocks. They're the, uh, what is this, better cheddar and they're so good. They have like cheddar in them and these are so good. So that'll be something we can eat one day during the week. Like some, um, you know, just some hot dogs, put some little hot dogs on my little grill and eat those. So, so I got some hot dogs and then my kids love these too. These are some Jamaican um spicy beef patties jamaican style and i love these unfortunately they only come two in a in a pack and i hate that because i think sam's sell them where you can get more but i didn't feel like one of sam's y'all and i don't think you can do curbside with sam's i don't know maybe you can but anyway so i just got a couple of packs i think three packs of these for my kids they'll probably eat them up in two days so <laughs> but anyway so i got some of those and then they love these um little pizzas these little totino's pizzas there's like a four pack of these so they'll probably have that eaten up in two days too well my son eats these mostly my daughter doesn't too much care for them but my son eats these um and then since we're over here i got these little um crystal light little like packets i can put in my tea or put in my water um and i love this flavor this peach iced tea you guys should definitely try this flavor if you if you're like me and you you know you need to drink water more water and you know you need something to make it you know a little bit more you know i don't know a little bit better to go down um then i just i try i put these in my water so not all the time but if i like i just want something sweet i guess but i need to drink water then i'll put these in my um my little water bottle so yeah i've just got one pack of these because i have some already and then we have some cereal. My kids love cereal and they love honeycomb. I love the, I love the honeycomb uh, cereal too. So I eat these too. I eat these plain. Like I don't even put milk in them. I just put them in a bag and like eat them for a snack. But so yeah, my daughter likes the honeycomb and my son likes the cinnamon toast crunch. So I got that. And then what well, I've been liking these cauliflower pizzas. I guess in a way this is a little bit healthy. It's not as 
um not as bad as like the regular pizzas here but um, me and my husband have been um trying these and these are like the uh what is this the cauliflower cauliflower pizza cauliflower it's a cauliflower crust pizza and this one is the pepperoni which i had one of these last night and it was so good and then this one here i haven't tried this one yet it's the margarita one and this has um what does it say it has uh tomatoes mozzarella parmesan yeah so basically this is a base basically it like, sounds like a veggie one so um so yeah so i got two of these i typically get the one that has like i think it's white cheddar and spinach on it but for some reason they're always out of stock and those are the best ones but i love these if you like um want like an alternative to like the regular crust pizza and this is 30 percent less total sugar excellent source of protein and gluten-free so if you're looking for some gluten-free pizza then this is definitely a good uh, brand to have because we've tried different cauliflower pizzas and they've all been trash but this one is the best the cauli power pizzas those are the best um and then of course i got some more pizzas i thought i just got one pack of these but i guess i got two so yeah my kids don't like any other uh <laughs> any other uh, kind except for cheese they're just cheese kids um speaking of that i got some cheese sticks <laughs> they love cheese sticks too to eat as a snack so i just got um some cheese sticks for the kids and then i got some sodas i got these sprite zeros we love these um so yeah i got the sprite zero and then i got um the cherry coke zero these are good too um so yeah so they're zero sugar so i guess better than the i guess it's you know a little bit more healthier if you want to call it healthy um more healthier i guess than the regular ones but these aren't healthy at all but they just have less sugar or no sugar and then i got some chips like a, an assorted um ba a box of chips here these are the frito-lay brand so as you can see all, my kids eat all of these they don't too much care for the uh, chili cheese but you only get four of those but they they'll tear up the doritos and they'll probably tear up They'll probably eat these, the uh, cheese curls, which I love the little cheese puffs and the cheese curls, and they'll probably eat the Doritos. But anyway, so I got a variety pack of those, and then I had to re-up on some Reynolds wrap because um, we don't like to wash dishes. I'm just going to be honest. And so we, instead of like taking out a little pizza pan, we put our pizzas on this, y'all. I know. But we, we just need Reynolds wrap anyway because I use that a lot with cooking. And the last thing I got is just some water. Um, just the Sam's brand water, 28 bottles. So we go through this pretty quickly too. Um, so yeah, just got had to get some re-up on some water. So that is my little grocery haul. Like I said, um, a lot of these things are just snacks, really. Um, most of my food I have like in the freezer. Like if I want to cook something, then um, I have a lot of stuff stored in my deep freezer. So these are just, like I said, essentials, things that we can snack on. Cause in the summertime, I don't know how y'all, how y'all's appetite is in the summertime. Like for me in the summertime, I don't have that big of an appetite. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's cause it's so hot. And I typically, all I want to do is drink, like drink water or mainly water. I, I crave and thirst for water in the summertime cause it's hot, right? So I don't know, me and my husband were talking about this the other day, how like in the uh, summertime, we're just not, we're just not hungry like that in the summertime. I don't know what that is. And if I am hungry, I typically am hungry um, like late at night <laughs> or like I want like a sandwich or something. Like we just eat that kind of stuff in the summertime. Just something light, you know what I mean? Like sandwiches or like the hot dogs, like, you know, grilled, grilling, grilling food. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so that is the grocery haul. Um, I'm going to put this stuff up and then I see I got a some dishes <laughs> in my sink over there that I need to put in the dishwasher. So I'll get that running. And then I'm going to go back out and go get that dress. Um, oh, I forgot. I got milk, too. I forgot I put that over there on my other counter. But, yeah. So, I also got some milk as well. We drink the, um, we drink, we don't drink, like, regular cow's milk. We drink um, the almond milk. And this is by Almond Breeze. And we just get the vanilla flavored. So, um, I forgot to show y'all that. Yeah, we don't drink cow's milk. I just don't like it. I don't like <laughs> I don't, I've never really been a fan of cow's milk. I drink it in my cereal, but like I've never been, I don't like drink it, just like pour it in a cup and drink it. I mean, even almond milk, I don't do that, but yeah, we, we drink almond milk. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to put 
put my groceries away and then I'm going to put a load of the dishes in the dishwasher and get out of here and go see if I can get this dress altered. Um, it's like almost one o'clock so this day just seems like it's slow. <laughs> it just seems like it's a slow day because when I got on here it was 10 and now 11, 12, 1, it's three hours later. And it seems like, I don't know, it just seems like um, like this day is just dragging even though, I, ooh, bright, bright, bright. Even though um, I feel like I've done a whole bunch. But anywho, so yeah, let me go and get all this stuff together, all my little groceries up, and then, yeah, I'll be back on here. So got all of my dishes and things in the dishwasher. I think I'm gonna wait until I get home to um, turn it on because I could probably put some more things in there. So I'm gonna go get my dress so I can see about getting it altered. And I also need to take these clothes. I don't know if you guys can see, but I had did some laundry yesterday and these pieces here um, I don't I didn't put them in the dryer so I just let them air dry over my little railing here I don't know some people might find that a little ghetto but <laughs> I do not like to put some of my more delicate pieces especially these shorts I have some shorts here that are pure silk so I definitely could not put these in the dryer um, these shorts here that I got from Kaz and so um, I put I'll put all this stuff on the delicate cycle so that I can wouldn't mess it up so and I have this white top that I got from cause as well and I end up getting the first day I wore this I wore this the 4th of July actually and I, I didn't get food I didn't get any food on it I end up getting some makeup on it got y'all like my um I don't know if y'all can see there's a stain here from some lip gloss my Fenty lip gloss like of all the things to get on my shirt I got lip gloss on it and I used my little Tide pen and thought I could get it off and then thought washing it and I put bleach on it and everything girl I mean yeah it's not that noticeable but I noticed it so but anywho so uh, let me get this dress so that I can go get it altered I'm trying to find something to put it in may have to go downstairs and get like a little bag I shouldn't have threw away that bag that I had that I got from Alter State it's such a cute bag all my bags are threw away like I cleaned up this room so good that I even threw away some of my cute cute little bags anywho I guess I can just find me one um gosh I need a bag because I don't want to go in there with like this and it's white so I'm afraid I'm gonna get something on it so I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's go back out, y'all, and get this dress altered if she can alter it. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And yeah, so 
such a nice day outside. Like it is so pretty. And maybe I got some bags in my little pantry here. I hate to put it in a trash bag because that's ghetto. And I hate to put it like in a, a Walmart bag because that's ghetto too. I don't know. I have like this. Um, <laughs> I have this uh, the Capitol Grill bag from a restaurant. Uh, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I just need a bag to put it in. Um, yeah, I'll put it in this, in this Capital Grill, this restaurant bag. I'm a bag lady. I save bags. Even like my Walmart bags, I save them too. I don't know why I save those. I used to put them in. Let me know if you guys do this. You probably are country just like me. But, oh gosh, I gotta sit y'all down. Um, and y'all are crooked. But yeah, so I have this little Capital Grill bag that I got from a restaurant. Uh, I guess y'all saw a little sneak peek of the dress, but you didn't see that much. Um, but yeah, so I used to save my uh, Walmart. Well, I still save them, but I used to put them like in um, small little trash, like trash cans. as like a little uh, trash bag liner. Let me know if you guys still do that or if you've ever done that. I know that it's so country ghetto, however you want to say it. But yeah, we try to save coins and reuse stuff over here. So, but I don't do that anymore because I don't have any trash cans that small. But now I save them for like when I go to work and I don't want to take like a um, huge lunch bag. I'll just like pop my lunch in like a little, uh, like a Walmart, like, you know, trash or bag or something. So, but anywho. All right, let me start rambling so I can get out of here and go get this um, dress altered. And uh, yeah, so we are back out for round two of being outside. <laughs> um, I guess I need to keep, you know what? I'm gonna keep my, keep my vlogging camera here because the battery will go dead. Um, so yeah, so I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I got over here to the alterations place and I think they're closed. So let me go in here real quick and see if they are closed. Cause if they are, I'm gonna be so mad cause I can't get my dress altered. So, oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, let me go in here real quick and see if they open. All right, <laughs> so they are closed. They're closed on the weekends apparently. So I gotta figure out another place to go get my dress altered because I really wanted to be able to, I mean, I can wait, it's not a rush. But I really wanted to be able to do that dress lookbook and I wanted to wear that dress. So so I'm gonna have to find another place to get my dress altered. So let me figure that out because I'm so disappointed now, y'all. All right guys, so I am back home. And as you saw, yeah, <laughs> the place was closed. So I wasn't able to get my dress altered. So it looks like I won't be able to get it altered until um, next week. Because she's op they're only open on the week during the week, Monday through Friday, which is weird, right? It seems like they will be open. Um, seems like they will be open at least on Saturdays. But anyway, so I'm not gonna be able to get that dress altered until next week. So hopefully, I'm gonna take it Monday and see how long it's gonna take for her to fix it because it shouldn't take long. It's just like a minor alteration, like on the side, like. And I don't want to show y'all the dresses because I want it to be a surprise and I want to be able to share or show you guys the dresses when I do the the lookbook or when I do the video, the styling dresses video, because I bought those dresses for that particular video. So I'm just going to wait. So you guys will just have to, you know, check back here um, sometime next week and um, maybe the next video. If she can't get it altered, then it'll probably be two videos from now. It'll be coming up. So just... Just know it'll it's coming it's coming um so i think i bought i bought like four dresses from asos that i wanted to style up for that particular styling dresses video and then i'm gonna style up some of the other dresses that i got that are kind of new um that i've gotten recently too so it's gonna be just a video just all about styling up dresses literally we're just gonna put a dress on and just accessorize it because <laughs> you know dresses are easy to to um style up but yeah, so that video will be coming soon. And so that dress that I wanted to get altered will be in that video. Hopefully I can get it fixed by then. I thought about returning it because they they had, the last time I checked, they had all sizes available. But the size that I got fits me. 
the way that I want it to. And so I don't want to get a smaller size because I feel like it'll be too tight. So I'd rather it be a little bit loose than to be tight. And the part that I need altered is not, it shouldn't anyway, um, uh, like mess with how it fits me. Um, as far as like, I don't even know how to explain this y'all, but the, the place that I need to alter that, um, I just need it. It's a little loose. So I just need it to be just a little bit tighter where it won't, I don't even know how to explain it because it, you know, it doesn't make sense because, because it's like an, it's like a, the dress, the way the dress is, it won't even make sense for me to explain to y'all. So anyway, we're just going to talk about something else. I'm tired of talking about this dress at this point and I'm sure y'all are tired of hearing me talking about this dress but anyway but yeah check out that uh the video the next video or next few videos that I that I'm gonna that I'm gonna do subscribe if you're not subscribed so that you don't miss that video so um so it's about what time is it it's about two o'clock oh I just missed a call from my husband um I actually called him when I while I was there at the um alterations place to see if he knew of any other places I can go and that's the one that he uses and the one that I was at is the one that he uses and I've used them before and the lady's been there for a while and she's really good so I just don't want to take a chance on going to somebody and they mess my dress up or not do as good of a job as I'm used to so um anywho so yeah it's about two o'clock so I don't know what it, what I'm gonna do I think I've had a pretty productive day like I've done a substantial a substantial amount of things today so um i'm just gonna chill out i gotta work tomorrow so i just want to rest really until i have to go back to work tomorrow um because when i work it's literally a long day and i need time to like rest up before and after so yeah i rested a lot yesterday because i was off yesterday i didn't go anywhere like i barely even got out of bed yesterday that's how tired i was so sometimes you need that sometimes you just need a day where you just you know sleep or lay down and don't really do a whole lot you know to give your body a chance to recuperate so because today was full force as you guys saw or in this vlog i've just been kind of running running all day um so i'm just gonna rest the rest of the day take me a little break probably take me a little nap or something probably start editing this video because i have a feeling it's gonna be super long so um but if i get up into any you know get up to anything else of course i will record um but yeah hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and yeah we'll catch up with you guys a little bit later well hello welcome back to the house of valentina fashion channel but it doesn't have any buttons on it so i think that would be perfectly fine but at the moment i've actually just got and i absolutely adore this piece but i didn't belt it or anything i know and close out the blog it is like eight o'clock at night so um me and my husband just went and got a little bite to eat um i watched a little bit of youtube before then so yeah it's late so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this day i hope you enjoyed it because it's a very long vlog so thank you guys for sticking to it or sticking with it and yeah thank you guys so much and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and yeah i will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys